Uh, we're here with uh, Tony Alshaw, list manager at St Kilda. Uh, the countdown of the draft has begun, Tony. Yeah, pretty exciting stuff, Dave. It's uh, five weeks to go, and five weeks' time we'll know the, the players uh, that have come onto, come onto our books at 7 and 8 and 34 and 45. Is that really pleasing to finish the trade period with uh, four picks inside the 45? Oh, no doubt about it. Well, going back to seven and eight, uh, you know, to have two top ten, ten picks, it's been a long time, 16 years or so, and, and to have four picks in 45 is a good result as well. So we're pleased to be uh, in that position. Now we're going to get to work and make the most of those uh, picks. Now, before yesterday began, we uh, didn't have a second round pick, but we were able to enter into a pick exchange with Port Adelaide and bring one in. Can you talk us a little bit about the theory behind that? Oh, well, I think essentially up to that point we were 7, 8, 45 and 59. Uh, so to come into 30, uh, 34 and, and uh, 45 is in a much better position. Uh, essentially, if you're picking at 35, 34, you hope to get 20 to 25th best player on your list. Obviously, you want those players that complement the two you pick at the front and those that fulfil list needs or complement the, the whole list. So, essentially, you're putting yourself in two good positions and uh, we think that's the way to go. And we'll take, uh, the, take the players now and work with them for 12 months rather than picking at 45 and 59, keeping your second round selection next year and, and do it that way. So that's the thing, bring in a player this year rather than wait till next year. Yeah, yeah, and we think more, uh, you know, a better quality player with two picks in that area. And have we already started to identify the type of player we want with seven and eight, or is it just a matter of picking the best player? Oh, we think generally you've got to be picking the best players at that point in the draft. Uh, naturally, we've obviously got in our own heads that the, the types of players that would be good to have as long as they're at the level of, uh, of that, and, and worthy of those selections. So we'll work through that, that over the next five weeks and, and come to a conclusion. We normally go back and watch the tapes and go back through the interviews and the medicals and the psychs and the, and the fitness testing and the thoughts from the club coaches and, and managers and so forth. So there's a bit to go through, but uh, hopefully we can come up with a really good result for the Saints. Now, now, yesterday we also brought in uh, a young defender in Logan Austin who's played 13 games at Port Adelaide. Can you yeah. tell fans a little bit more about Logan? Yeah, Logan's a good young man. He's uh, 22 years of age. He played in his 19th year when he was in the New South Wales program. He came through school. He came through the uh, New South Wales Academy with Jack Steele. They're good friends, so that's a good thing. Um, and yeah, he worked his way onto the list in 2014, pick 69. He went there with a, an injured shoulder in the first place, played about 10 sample games in his first year. Uh, he was able to uh, muster up 11 games in a row in his second year and did a good job playing on the last line for Port Adelaide. Unfortunately, he broke his ankle the last game of 2016, so that put him on the back foot over summer. Uh, and essentially, Tom Cleary went past him at that point. And possession is nine tenths of the law, as you know. Once you're in, you're in. So he found it difficult. He did fight his way back into play a couple of games in the back end of this season. Um, so yeah, he just felt like there was uh, it was tough to, for opportunities there, and he could see there were some opportunities at the Saints, and we were keen to uh, to get him on board. And Logan's, um, you know, adds to that key position depth. You know, we've got Jake Carlo and Nathan Brown who did a great job this year. Is that what we were looking for? Just that added depth to, to support those guys? Yeah, and, and let's not forget Huey Goddard. He played uh, eight or nine, eight or nine games in his first year and did a really good job. Unfortunately, unfortunately for Huey, he had a couple of injuries in the last couple of years, and that, you know they've been quite a significant setback for him. But uh, you know, Huey's still a young, uh, young fellow. He's 21 years of age, and he's a really bright future. And um, you know, we look forward to Huey. And, and Logan and uh, Brownie and, and, and Jake uh, working together over a period of time. What that mix is right now, nobody really knows. Uh, but going forward, we need to make sure we've got a number of options and, and Logan and Huey will provide that. No worries, Tony. Thanks for joining us and we hope you and your team are uh, you know, scaring the uh, tapes over the next few weeks and pick up a couple of gems in this year's draft. Yeah, we're just as hopeful as you are, Dave. Thank you.